everyone! This is the PVS Studio channel. We're in the first half of 2023, which means it's time to tell you about the new features and enhancements that appeared in PVS Studio over the past three years. But first, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so as not to miss our new videos. Ready? Let's go! Let's start with the most important thing the supported languages and their versions. The analyzer works with code written in C20, C11, Java 11, and the older versions of these languages. At the time of the video release, PVS Studio has more than 1000 diagnostic rules that detect various issues in code. The PVS Studio plugins are now available for even more IDEs Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code. Rider, C-Lion, IntelliJ IDEA, and Qt Creator. The analyzers for all supported languages work on Windows, Linux, and macOS. However, as of now, the C++ analyzer for ARM-based macOS, for example the M1 chip, works only via Rosetta. If you want to use the analyzer on these chips, then let us know. We're collecting feedback to find out how important is the project build and analysis on the ARM architecture for our users. Now the C++ analyzer can perform intermodular analysis. This allows the analyzer to get information from both the compilation unit and units related to it, which will help find even more issues. You can enable this mode, for example, in the PVS Studio plugin for an ID. The C# -sharp analyzer also has this feature. We updated the type system in the C++ analyzer. Now PVS Studio better understands more than C++, standard library, complex constructions, and templates. Diagnostic rules became more accurate, which means they detect a greater number of dangerous places and issue less false positives. The best button simplifies the first acquaintance with the analyzer. It allows you to filter the analyzer's warnings in just one click, leaving only the most interesting one. There will be no more than 10 warnings, so you'll be able to inspect them quickly. Now the analyzer can check commits, pull and merge requests. To do this, the analyzer uses the mode to check the list of files. PVS Studio is a SAS solution. Therefore, one of the main directions of the analyzer development is searching for security defects. This is how the PVS Studio c -sharp analyzer learned to perform taint analysis. Now you can use the analyzer to search for XSS, SQL injections, and other potential vulnerabilities. The C++ analyzer can also check applications for security and resistance to various attacks. We fully covered the OWASP Top 10 2021, a list of threats to web applications. There is at least one diagnostic rule for each category. Besides, the c -sharp analyzer learned to perform Software Composition Analysis, or SCA. It helps you find external application dependencies with known vulnerabilities. Such a tool will fit perfectly into your DevSecOps processes. And last but not least, the PVS Studio diagnostic rules are mapped according to CWE, OWASP, ASVS, and CAE Cert coding standards. Static analysis may be helpful in game development. That's why we're enhancing the PVS Studio integration with two game engines, Unreal Engine and Unity. PVS Studio now works with projects on Unreal Engine 4 and 5. The analyzer better understands the specifics of Unreal Engine and Unity and has more information about methods, types, and so on. This helps you find more potential errors. Now you can use baselining in projects on Unreal Engine. This mechanism hides all analyzer warnings on legacy code. After that, you'll get warnings on new or freshly changed code. Besides, more analyzer settings are now available in projects on Unreal Engine. All these features are available for Unity as well. Web development is one of the most common areas in .NET. The c -sharp analyzer now better understands specifics of the ASP.NET and ASP.NET Core methods. This allows the analyzer to issue fewer false positives and detect more potential errors. Moreover, PVS Studio can analyze Blazor or Razor components. To be more precise, the c -sharp code in the files with the Razor extension. Another direction of the analyzer development is checking code of embedded systems. 
Vivian Studio has diagnostic rules that check code for compliance with MISRA and Autosar's safety development standards. Over the past three years, the analyzer has been working with even more compilers for embedded systems. This is a list of compilers that PVS Studio now works with. The CL Monitor and C and C++ Compiler Monitoring UI, utilities that check C and C++ projects on Windows regardless of the build system, have received a major enhancement. Previously, there was an issue. The utilities couldn't analyze part of the code if the compilation process finished quickly. This issue was the nastiest when it affected the development of software for embedded systems. In a new RAP compilers mode, these utilities intercept all compilers' invocations. Of course, this is not a full list of enhancements, but these are the most prominent changes in PVS Studio in the past three years. We keep enhancing our product to provide you with the best user experience possible. If you want to see all new changes and features, you can visit the release history section on our website. See you soon!